And I'll certainly let Nicole uh, address the issue. We do have a camp in which we pair up with the Victim Intervention Program for children mm -hmm. uh, who have lost uh, a parent or a guardian uh, uh, to homicide. Mm -hmm. uh, and wow. for people who come to us now, if I were to have someone call and uh, ask to come in for grief counseling because they have had a homicide in their family, I probably would ask them to explore the Victim Intervention Program, which is in the same building that we're in actually, okay. in the Signature Building at 19th and Church. Uh, but of course, uh, we have many people who've lost a loved one through suicide. Uh, there are, of course, other resources, but we certainly do have people come to us who've had a loved one uh, die through a suicide. Uh, we have people who've, of course, come to us for uh, all kinds of accidents. Uh, people uh, who have uh, uh, had sudden physical trauma events, uh, heart attack, and that sort of thing. Okay. Uh, okay. But certainly, uh, anyone who's had a loss of any kind is welcome to come to us. Uh, that would be that kind of loss you're describing, of course, is it probably has elements to it that make it more of an extreme kind of uh, loss, yeah. which we yeah. do uh, also offer uh, support for. Uh, we encourage anyone, uh, regardless of how they lost uh, their loved one, that they're welcome to come uh, and sit with us. There's no charge for the first, uh, for the first visit. Uh, I might just go ahead and add that, that uh, as far as our fee scale goes, we are a nonprofit, have been okay. uh, ever since we started in 1975. Wow. That's when the live wow. hospice began. A very tiny little group back then. Uh, and we've become quite large at this point, but we remained a nonprofit. Uh, people who have uh, been uh, as far as uh, getting services from a live hospice, they get our services free. People who come from the community, they can come for the first time. Uh, there's no charge, just to kind of see what we're about. If they wish to return, we have a very generous uh, sliding fee scale okay. that we will make sure that uh, they can afford to come back. Uh, and that's always been part of our mission, is to offer the service. Uh, but most people are oftentimes uh, curious about mm. uh, just what's going on with them. Uh, sometimes uh, uh, men are very reluctant to come in. Because yeah, I would think your hardest would be men yeah. to get them because of uh, decades of you hold your emotion That's right. uh, in. I, we're going to get back to that with you, John, but okay. with Nicole, I wanted to ask, I know that uh, you said that sometimes the way you help children is through play yes. or to help them grieve. Can you uh, kind of explain a little more to us? Mm -hmm. We have rooms set up specifically for children that have different games and different activities that they can do that would be child friendly and wow. um, a lot of our um, that a lot of the games that we play are developed by therapists and so it would relate specifically to the issue of death and grief um, wow. ask specific questions related to that. Um, a lot of times children are able to find expression for the pain that they have through art and play um, and through answering questions with different games. Oh, really? So, mm -hmm. and, and do you find that, that children uh, kind of bounce back a little easier when, when they have a structured uh, program such as yours to, to kind of help them understand what has happened to someone they loved or someone close. It's really important to have a safe place for children yeah. and a place where they um, know that that they can come and so that's very helpful. Um, it takes a long time for children to get through the grief process and and as time goes they learn and develop um, their grief, their understanding of grief changes as they get older. So even years down the road, they can still be adjusting to the death of someone that they loved that died. Well, you know what I have found interesting in the media uh, lately reading it and, and mm -hmm. also hearing it on various uh, television channels that there's so much violence that our children see Mm -hmm. on TV that it might be desensitizing mm -hmm. them. I don't know if it's really desensitizing them or just throwing them in a different uh, area mm -hmm. of how to grieve. Have you found that mm -hmm. maybe uh, when some of the children that have, uh, that maybe seem like, mm -hmm. oh, this just doesn't bother them? 
at all, but yet it really is bothering. Well, sometimes with children, it doesn't look like they're grieving. It, it yeah, looks that's... like they're playing in when, in fact, they really are grieving. And so um, it, that can be deceiving deceiving because yeah. um, children don't express it through words. Um, most of the children that we see uh, are having um, pain. They are having trouble coping okay. with it. And so uh, most of the children that come to us need to find a place where they can learn how to express those feelings and learn what normal grief looks like. Ah, mm -hmm. so how many children maybe at a time th would oh, do goodness. you, uh, or do you do a one-on-one -on -one or a group or a combination of? I see. Um, we offer individual and group sessions, and we also have a camp that John referred to earlier. Yeah, what about this camp? What What is this camp? Um, we have two different camps that we offer. One is called Camp Evergreen, and that is held out oh. in the Kingston Springs area. And it's a two-day camp. And as John said, um, we partner with Victims. Victim Intervention Vi Program. Victim Intervention Program. Okay. And um, so children, we have up to 40 children from ages 6 to 13 that come to that camp. And wow. then we also have Camp Forget Me Not, which is held based out of Murfreesboro, our Murfreesboro office. And both of those camps are going to be in June. So Wow. And, and Forget Me Not, that mm -hmm. so, um, and what ages? Uh, is it all ages that, uh, like six? Uh, six up to 13. To 13, mm -hmm. they can go. Uh, or uh, take part camps. of these camps. And yes. and then there, I guess, they learn how to uh, still handle grief. You're still working with them. You got counselors. Yes. They're working uh, them with their grief. and But mm -hmm. also, it sounds like you offer them some wonderful support. Yes. It's like, we're here for you. We mm -hmm. haven't left you. If mm -hmm. somebody else, and, and we 